fourth national policy summit is coming on 24th and 25th of September in Tamale. The national policy summit is a platform designed by the Ministry of Information which gives ministries, departments and agencies an opportunity to engage with various stakeholders, academia, civil society groups and economic actors on some of the flagship programs of government uh, so that we have an opportunity to explain where we are in terms of delivery and also get feedback. As uh, my colleague Nanama mentioned, we've done three so far. The fourth one is coming off 24th and 25th of September at the University of Development Studies International Conference Center in Tamale. And the theme is Assessing Government's Flagship Programs, The Journey So Far. Many Ghanaians have been inquiring or desiring to know, so where are we on our major flagship programs? The One District, One Factory Initiative, where are we exactly? How many of them uh, have been put up or are being put up? What are the timelines? What are the facts of the One District, One Factory program? The One Village, One Dam Initiative that is also ongoing, what are the details? The National Health Insurance uh, program that is being reformed currently, again, where are we in that reform agenda and what remains in the pipeline? One of our major social protection programs, known as the Livelihood Empowerment Against Poverty, LEAP. What is the status of the improvement of the reformation exercise we are doing there? The Free Senior High School program and the Double Track system, as well as the technical and vocational education and training programs that we have spoken about. Where are we? And then finally, the broader program of the Infrastructure for Poverty and Eradication uh, Program, or IPEP. So on the 24th and 25th of September, ministers of state responsible for these various programs will engage directly with stakeholders in Tamale and provide a status report on where we are on these flagship programs and also take feedback. If I may have an opportunity to quickly take you through the outline of programs, on the 24th, we start at 10 a.m. His Excellency, the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, will be the keynote speaker, and he will speak on the theme, Assessing Government's Flagship Programs, The Journey So Far. It will be chaired by the Pembe Ura Bismarck, the Paramount Chief of Pembe Traditional Area, and it will be followed by a panel discussion. Next will be the Minister for Education, the Honorable Matthew Poku Prempe, who will give us a status report on the status of free senior high school for all Ghanaian children, the double track system as has been rolled currently, and the TVET program as well. You recall last year by now there was a lot of complaint about congestion creeping up in the schools and uh, how things were being sorted. And the government introduced a double track approach for this year. So how has it fared so far? What is the status of the Free Senior High School program? The minister will be speaking to it directly and will be taking feedback um, as well. Later in the afternoon, we'll have a breakout session during which the Minister for Trade and Industry, the Honorable Alan Kojo Chemanting, will present a status report on the One District, One Factory program. Where are we exactly? How many are out there? What is the status of implementation? He will do that and uh, a panel will also engage in a Q&A session with him. On the following day, which is the 25th, we will take a second session on education, which is focused on technical and vocational education and training in Ghana. The story so far and the next steps, again, will be led by the Honorable Minister for Education, and a panel discussion will follow to interrogate um, government status report. Later, the Honorable Mavis Howard Kumsen, the Minister for Special Development Initiatives, will present a status report on the One Village, One Dam program, and we'll have an opportunity to interrogate her report as well. Our partners, UMB, will lead us in another session on financing SMEs, which is a major may I say, hurdle that we need to overcome as we give some more life to our industrialization agenda. So financing SMEs and industries will be led by our partner, UMB Bank. The second set of breakout sessions, we'll have an opportunity from the Special Development Initiatives Ministry to assess the entire IPEP program 
and how it is going. The law has been passed, the authorities have been set up. We'll have an opportunity to assess the IPEC program and work done so far broadly in that area and get feedback from panelists who are gathered there. The National Health Insurance Scheme is one that also comes up for assessment. It will be led by the health minister with the support of the NHIE boss, status of efforts to restructure the National Health Insurance Scheme. That will follow as a second panel um, discussion. The final discussion for the day, or for day two, will be on the livelihood empowerment against poverty program. What is the status of that program in terms of expansion of numbers, in terms of um, how much is being given out per head and how that program is being managed. The Deputy Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection will be leading a presentation on that one. And again, the panel will have an opportunity to interrogate uh, that one.